Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Lumen 10. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial I am going to teach you about advanced move tool in Lumen 10 and I will tell you how to use advanced move tool to animate your car and people in your scene. So I have selected one simple scene and this is a car and this is a bicycle man and I will tell you how to use advanced move tool here. So I am going to animate this. So after creating your scene, you are required to create a movie clip here. So I am going to select this movie. And after creating movie, you will go to this record button here. And in record button, you are required to add camera keyframe. So I am going to select my first keyframe here. And I will select my second keyframe here. Now I will set my third camera keyframe. Like this one. And after this, I will finish this clip. And as soon as you will finish your clip, you will see this add effect button here, FX, and you will select this add effect. And after selecting add effect button, you will see a lot of options here in effects and like sun, weather, sky objects, camera. And now you will select animation. And in animation, you will see mouse move tool, which I have discussed in my last previous tutorial. Then this move and advanced move and sky drop and animate light colors and time warp. So I'm going to discuss about advanced move. So I'm going to select this. And after selecting advanced move, you will see this option edit. So I'm going to select this edit here and after selecting edit you will see uh, this is the time frame and this is there is the up arrow for increasing time frame and this is down arrow for decreasing time so this is the 9 second animation and this is the play button here for playing your scene and uh, this is the setting time frame for each movement of the car so you can move this object like car and by using this move object and you can also change the height of this car suppose if you want to make any flying scene in your uh, uh, animation and you can use this to changing the height of this car and this is for changing the size of the object you can change the size of this car and people by using this size object and you can rotate your uh, object also and this is for rotate pitch is for tilting your car in your scene suppose if you are making any action scene you can use this rotate pitch and this is for rotate bank this is also tilt your car in your scene so i am going to first create any simple architectural scene so i am going to first set the starting point of this car so i am going to a starting point of this curve here and now I am going to define a time frame for this movement and I will make it 5.8 and I will move this curve in this direction So now I am going to uh, move this further here and now I will set movement of keyframe for this and after this I will rotate this car in my scene. rotating and I will define a rotation here and now again I will move this curve
and I will define a keyframe for this and I will finish this and now I am going to play this and you can see this car is moving into your scene and now I am going to animate this bicycle man so I am going to edit advanced move tool here and I will click this edit button here and you can see this is time frame which is 9 seconds so I am going to reduce this time frame here and I will set to beginning you can see this card and now I am going to set a starting point for my this bicycle man so I will move this uh, over here and now I am going to define a time frame for this moment and I will use this timing full and now I will move this bicycle man to this direction straight direction I'm creating this simple scene and I will move this here and again finish this and now you can see this bicycle man is also moving along with car so you can create a very good nice presentation in your architecture scene and you can present to your client so this is the basic introduction about advanced move tool in Lumion you can further increase your skills so this was the tutorial for today's session and I will show you the final rendering by rendering this scene into low resolution so that you can quickly view your scene so I am going to render this in low resolution and I will show you so I have finished my scene and the resolution is low but you can view your animation here and you can see it is very nicely done and you can present in your architectural project so this was the tutorial for today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in the so bye bye